In this movie, we're going to cover drawing in crystal ports with simple objects. When I refer to simple objects, I mean simple lines and boxes, and the options that come with. These boxes and lines can help align the report and help the eye follow the report better, especially if there's tons of data to deal with. We already learned one option for drawing lines, which was to put borders around the object box. The object box, of course, when I highlight, let's say, office name, highlight slowly, and that's the invisible line that allows us to place it on points on the report. However, we have other options. If we go up to the Insert menu and click, we can also draw a line. Once we choose line, it, the mouse turns into a pencil, and from there you can place the pencil where you need the line to go. Let's say under Group 2 Name, by holding down the mouse button and clicking, you can draw. Now this is where your Snap 2 guidelines come in handy. Notice no matter how hard I try, it only lets me draw a straight line. And by releasing, I have a new drawing object. It's highlighted at both ends. And once it's highlighted, I can put my mouse on it, right click, and I can format this line. From here, I get to choose my style. I can dashed, dotted, and I can choose my color. It all depends what you're kind of looking for. I'm going to keep it single, and I get to choose the width. Notice I have hairline. 0.5, 1 point, and so on up to 3.5. We're going to put it at 3 just for illustrative purposes. You also have other options. You can move it to the bottom of the section when printing. You can suppress it, even though you just drew it. You can repeat on horizontal pages. You can lock its position and size, and you can also make it read only. Let's go ahead and press OK. Notice how thick our line now is. Now if we click on Preview, for every group 2, which is year, we have a nice thick line. Now, of course, our group name's a little out of whack, but if I highlight that field, I can drag it up just slightly. This helps the eye follow the data a little bit better. Now, granted, this report will win no design awards, but for illustrative purposes, it serves the point. Let's go back to our design view. The second option that Crystal allows you is to draw boxes. Sometimes boxes do come in handy. For highlighting certain sections you need highlighted. Go ahead and click on box. Again, we get the same pencil, but this time it has a slightly different effect. I'll put it here in the corner, hold the mouse button down, and drag. Notice I now have a box highlighted. And I release. If I put my mouse on that box, I can right click, and I can format the box. From here I can choose its line thickness, choose its color, put a drop shadow. I can also fill the box. I can also choose to always close the border as well as our standard options. Also I can round it like so. I can either use the up arrow to up the percent or use this handy bar. Now if I round it to 100 percent I get an ellipse. Now if my box that I drew had equal sides I would get a circle. You can also make it more just kind of design oriented, rounded as opposed to square. Again your style lines includes dash dotted and your other options. Now, of course, your boxes are going to be limited by the size of your section, so if you need more size, it's easy enough to increase the section size, as I've just done. Put your cursor and click on the box, and notice we have these nice little square box guidelines. We can grab that and drag it down a little bit. And now we have a circled in box. Now, if we look at our preview tab, we have this. I'm not winning any design wars, but this can really help. We can also right click from here, format our box, and choose to take it back to single. Instead of rounding it, make it perfectly square by changing the rounding to zero. A little more clean. The options on your drawing objects are sort of limited. I'll show you one more example. Go to the design tab. Go ahead and increase the report header down quite a bit. Insert a line. Choose a point down here close to the bottom on the left hand side. Hold the mouse button down. And do you see what happens? I can undraw my lines up. I can insert another line. And draw them across. So as you can see, we have a few options. Let's go ahead and insert one more line. I can control it here. Hold the mouse button down. 
Notice how, no matter how hard I try, it keeps it nice and straight for me. This function is not like a painting program where you can freehand any line, any angle, any curve you like. Drawing objects are kind of are in a class by themselves. You can move them, size them, position them, cut them, delete them, as you would any object. Mostly these are used to help guide the user through data or to highlight certain sections. That way the eye follows the data a little more naturally. 